In an exclusive interview, the CEO of Flannery Associates sat down with ABC 7 News I team reporter Stephanie Sierra uh, to discuss his vision for the project and the future. Yeah, she's here tonight with that story. Steph, how was this? Mm. It was interesting and revealing. Tonight, we had a very candid conversation with Jan Schrammick. He's the brains behind this proposed new city in Solano County that's focused on building affordable housing, clean energy, and sustainable infrastructure. But for years, it's been kept secret. And tonight, we learned why. Jan, for years, people have been wondering, what is Flannery Associates and what isn't it? For our viewers who have been interested in this story, what would you tell them? I would say that it's definitely not the Chinese. Uh, and so we have no Chinese, of any, uh, no Chinese investors of any kind. Um, Flannery and the parent company, California Forever, is um, a company that is proposing to build a new community in Eastern Solano County that is to be surrounded by renewable energy, like solar farms, and by open space, agriculture, and habitat. So a new community, mm -hmm. specifically a city, right? Yes. So what is your vision for this city? What will it look like? Uh, we would say it will be uh, one of the most walkable places in California and probably in America. Uh, and it would, it, it would be a place that has a very traditional uh, feeling to it. Um, there's been a lot of speculation about are we building a utopia, are we building some kind of a crazy tech city, and um, all of those things could not be, or speculations couldn't be further away from the truth. Local, state, and federal officials have raised concerns about the viability of this project, specifically citing the lack of infrastructure and the lack of water. Do you have specific plans to tackle those issues? I mean, we, we in the early stages of, of talking to those officials and to the agencies, and so um, we don't have specific plans because uh, we want to make sure that they are plans that are done together with all of the stakeholders and that they work um, for, for everyone involved. So uh, I'm just kind of trying to get a sense logistically mm -hmm. how you envision this happening, and uh, you know, do you truly think you'll have the support needed? This will have to go to the voters, of course, to make this happen. Uh, we are very confident that we'll have the support. I mean, I think that uh, if anything, we've been um, uh, we've been really surprised over the last uh, few weeks at the difference between what's in the press and what people say. I see a lot of skepticism about this in the press, but that's not what my friends are telling me. So, will this city have a name? Uh, it will eventually. We don't have one yet. Any hints? No. Uh, we are, actually it's one of the one of the um, one of the priorities for the community engagement is to uh, is to start figuring that out. So the community could be involved Absolutely. with that decision. Absolutely, will be involved. Yeah. Okay. Elected officials told us many times this exact quote: "If there's truly nothing nefarious going on, why keep it secret? Why did you?" So one of the one of the outcomes of the research that we did in 2017 is that we felt very confident that we could build an amazing project um, out there. We had to assemble a large land holding, and in order to do that, we had to. Uh, be quiet about the plans so that we didn't have reckless speculation and, and, and tracked home developers coming into the area. You'd be quiet about the plans so it wouldn't cause reckless speculation? Because mm -hmm. that's exactly what happened. I, I don't think that's what happened. I think what happened is we went to a lot of landowners and, and we offered them uh, a premium, a significant premium several times over market values. And many of those landowners looked at that and said, this is a great deal and I would like to take it. Do you wish you would have done anything differently? No. So you don't regret not coming forward with these plans earlier? No, I think this project could only have happened if it was done in a very methodical way where someone could take a very long-term view. And that included um, uh, raising capital in a way where the company could take a 40-year view on this. When did you plan on initially revealing all this? We would have been sitting here. I would have been probably sitting here with you just about now. And so uh, we've, we've, we've said that we would probably put this um, put this proposal um, up for a vote of the people of Solano County in November 24. And we were just waiting for everyone to finish their holidays and come back from Labor Day. Do you think it hurt the credibility of Flannery's name not being forthcoming with the public about your plans because of the fear it instilled in the community? Uh, that's what some critics argue uh, as far as the, the public perception of all this. I mean, we would have clearly preferred to have to have done this um, to have done this more openly, but we felt that, as I mentioned before, we would never be able, kind of, unless someone acquired the property, the project could not happen and, and could not provide all of these benefits to the community. What I will say is, once we've sat down with both elected officials, community leaders, residents of Solano County, um, and we explain why we did what we did, and it wasn't done lightly, but a lot of thought went into it. Um, I've seen people react very positively and say, you know, you've made it more difficult for yourself, but. 
I understand why you had to do it this way and there was no other way to do it. Now Jan says he hopes the city will be designed in a way where there will be old school shopping streets and everyone can live within five or ten minutes of a pharmacy and a grocery store. He also added he plans to open several new offices to the public including in Fairfield and Vallejo and we're told those offices are expected to open within the next few weeks. Oh, really interesting right. guy and after yeah. all of this time glad to hear from him directly. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Nice job. Thanks, Steph. Thank you. And to get in touch with the iTeam, you can call this number on your screen or go to abc7news.com slash iTeam.